I want to talk a little bit more about God's persuasive powers. I often say this, and I've been saying it even though I did not have the full revelation of this until today. I often say, yes, we have a free will, but God has persuasive powers, doesn't he? He just, there's even a verse, I think it's in Proverbs, that says he has the king's heart in his hand, and he can turn it whichever way he wants. There is something, even though we have a free will, he still has that persuasive power. I don't know how, how else to say it, right? Well, today, as I was praying about something, and I want to tell you, it's, a, it's my testimony, but this is how he taught me. My husband is taking care of his mom. She has dementia and she lives with us. He is her full-time caretaker. That's why he cannot travel with me right now. Well, God put an opportunity when I come back, when I go back to Florida in January, he put an opportunity in our path, my husband's and I, so that we have an opportunity to do a little mini road trip, two days, one night. And when I, t when I, told my husband about it, he, he doesn't have peace of leaving his mom even for one night. He just, he just doesn't. He, so I started praying for him. I said, Lord, if you want him to go on this road trip with me, can you please give him peace? And a moment I said that, I felt God saying, that is my, that's how I use my persuasive powers. If I want him to go on this road trip, I will give him peace in his soul to let go. Let his mom be taken care of home one night by someone else, two days, so that he can go enjoy this road trip without feeling worried or anxious. That's how he uses his persuasive power, right? So, if God wants you, in other words, to go a certain way, right? And he sees that you don't want to go that way because of a fear that you have, something like that. God can put things in your spirit that will take away that fear, which will help you go the way he wants you to go. So I think I explained that the best way I can. That's how God uses his persuasive powers, even though we have a free will, to get us to do the things he wants us to do. Yes? So, God has persuasive powers. Isn't that awesome? Awesome. So, if you you if you use this, pray this way for your loved ones. If they're they're living a certain way that's not you know that you think oh that's just not right and I but there's nothing I can do about it. Give it to God and say, Lord, can you use your persuasive powers to get them to do right or to live right or whatever you're praying for or to get saved? Doesn't he? Doesn't he use his persuasive powers to save people. Even the Bible says, unless he draws people, unless he draws you, you're not going to come. That's his persuasive powers, which we'll never understand. He's God. Even the Bible says that. We'll never understand why he does the way, the way he, he does things and how he thinks. We will never understand with our little pea brain. <laughs> so rest. Rest in the fact that God has persuasive powers, even though man has free will. And if you don't like something you see, pray, give it to God, and let him do what only he can do.